Okay, um, some of you guys were asking about how the, the stain actually held the fabric. Um, I think there might be a little bit of confusion. This doesn't actually hold the fabric, it holds the frame that holds your fabric. Um, I'm using a Q-snap. Um, I originally tried it with a store brand Q-snap from the Hobby Lobby and absolutely hated, oh I hated the Q, that Q-snap in the first place, plus it wouldn't fit in here, it just kept popping out. I've since brought some actual name brand Q-snaps and it works great and they are such a, I like the frame a lot better. Um, but the way this works is, um, I don't remember if you, if, I, if you guys remember from the setup video, this is the little V-clamp part. If you use it with the um, Q-snap, you only use one of them. They, it does come with two. You only use one. And if you use a, um, like a true square piece or a hoop, you use both pieces. And if you use um, like a scroll frame that's kind of got the rounded rectangle piece, you won't use anything at all. It'll catch it. And they show you in the setup and the instructions that you want this edge of the Q-snap to kind of catch inside this clamp um, kind of at an angle to where it won't spin down. Now that I use these grippers where the whole frame itself doesn't spin. But if you catch it kind of at an angle like that and then tighten your clamp back up, it holds out fairly even, really tight. And I really, I mean I love the way the stand that's the stand set up. I have forgotten to show you guys a, a video of the stand set up. Um, so far, I haven't really, like I said, I'm looking for a new chair in this area. It doesn't, for my comfort, it doesn't work well with this chair because it won't go up underneath like it's supposed to. This, this whole stand, the whole thing about this stand is that it's supposed to go up underneath whatever chair you sit in and it can't because of the way this, the, the underpinning of the chair works. But, um, so once it's, there, you just pull it in front of you, and I don't have it tight enough. I didn't use it as, get it as tight as I normally do. Um, that's how it holds your, your fabric, or your frame, that holds your fabric. Somebody was asking if it would work with canvas and the stretcher bars. I don't know. I've never messed with the canvas and stretcher bars. I'm sure it would if they're square. You may have to use both pieces or none of the pieces at all, depending on how the, and it shows a really good picture of, of the shape to use and when how many pieces to use. Um, the th one thing that I figured out that I didn't mention on the um, on this setup video is people were complaining about that whenever they would flip to the back of their project that this part would become way too loose. Um, the trick is, let me make sure I get this tie that's where I can show it to you. The trick is you loosen this knob, you turn it towards you, I'm sorry, Turn it away from you and the fabric towards you and it flips without any problem. And to tighten it back up, you do the opposite, turn the knob towards you and your fabric away from you. Um, I don't really have any cons to the frame. The only thing that I could possibly change would be that this may have like an elbow joint in it like this does. Because this can kind of go to different angles. This is pretty much, you know, where you're at. And this would maybe raise up a little higher because at times it kind of collides. But the thing is, is that if you did that, if those things were made that way, this wouldn't be able to fold down and be compact the way, the way it is. So you kind of lose the purpose of the stand if those things were made that way. So it's not really even the stand as much as, you know, I'm wanting too much out of some, you know, things that are, that are impossible. Um, something that I kind of modified on the stand is this comes with a wooden easel board that goes back here. Um, I have no clue what the purpose of this is. I got it from Joanne's Fabric. It was called a note board. It's just a piece of metal. I put this in there instead and it holds it without any issues. That way I can use my magnetic holders and my magnetic bars and stuff. Um, but other than that, like I said, it's not really cons. It's just we won't expect way too much out of the stand or, you know, want everything to be perfect. And that's how you guys had asked how the fabric actually fit into the frame itself. It just kind of slides in there. And like I said, I didn't get it, it, I can get it a lot tighter than I did for the purpose of this video. I can get it to where you're almost like, you know, I don't know, it doesn't come out at all. Um, with the hoops that I use, they, I use the bigger um, non-slip hoops. Um, I would get it out, but I don't want you to see the inside of the cabinets because it's horrible right now. 
but they've actually got like a big square chunk piece <laughs> where the screw goes in and it holds it perfect in there. I mean, it holds it really, really tight in there too. Um, I don't know about the stretcher bars or the scroll frames. I don't use those. And that's really everything for right now. Um, thank you guys for watching.